Greetings, the Paul Conley guy here. Merry Christmas, a bit early, but wanted to to shoot this video as a special edition as a gift for you regarding the 10 commandments, the 10 most important things everybody should have in mind when designing or operating uh, an old elevator. Here we go, enjoy it. <music> Thou shalt test every product or material before building any new old elevator. This is the first and most important commandment. If you do not follow it, there will be no blessing but only cursing. Thou shalt not put rocks, large wood pieces or other hard materials that might be larger than the clearance between inner screw and rotating tube. You shall not obstruct the output of material. You shall not introduce sticky materials with high viscosity. This might jam the elevator. Sludge or similar materials may be applied though. The form or shape of the inlet hopper will be designed with the utmost attention so that it fits the machine correctly. The old elevator can be used in any inclination with some specific considerations to be made regarding its design. Thou shall pay attention to safety measures so that the rotating tube harms no one. A professional technician shall design the inlet scoop and tubes that fit the material inside the tube, since each different material to lift requires a specific shape and type of scoops and in-fit tube. Thou shalt take into account that there are a lot of different types of designs for the old elevator, for every area of use in foundries, for food, for sewage sludge, etc. Thou shalt remember at all times that an old elevator is not the same as a screw conveyor in any way, functioning or performance for the old elevator is a most efficient vertical conveyor with no fallback. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, leave comments in the section below. Send it to anyone that you might think would be interesting, a colleague in the workshop, in the facility, in the engineering department. Any questions that you might have, we will be glad to answer them. And as always, uh, see you next time and Merry Christmas.